unto us a child is born. Mm -hmm. That alone. <laughs> For unto us a child is born. Mm -hmm. And unto us a son is given. <laughs> How bad is this son, Tony? Well, the government shall be upon his shoulder. <laughs> How bad is he, Tony? And his name shall be called. <laughs> he got a name like no other name, y'all. <laughs> he can't be compared. He can't be, um, uh, 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 there's no contrast. There's, there's, he, there, he's in a class all by him. Self. He, he, the Bible says he shall be called wonderful counselor. He shall be the mighty God, the everlasting Father. And then to kind of seal it, he's going to be the prince. Not the prince of confusion. <laughs> Jehovah Shalom. <laughs> the prince of peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be glory to God. <laughs> this son, there ain't going to be no end to him. <laughs> upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth, even forever, the zeal of the Lord of hosts We'll perform this. <laughs> Just for a moment, since we are here at a celebration. At a celebration, we like to talk about the person we're celebrating. So this afternoon, just for a moment, we're going to talk about the person in the, in the form of God, Jesus. We're going to celebrate him this afternoon. So just turn to your neighbor and say, unto us, a son is born. Unto us a son is born. Father, we ask you to have your way this afternoon. Let your word have free course. Do what only you can do. Throw your weight around. God, let not one word fall to the ground, but let it bring forth much fruit in its season. We decree and declare it is so in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Unto us a son is given. Unto us a son is given. Given. Unto us a son is given. The first thing I like about this text that Isaac deals with, he says, unto us. Not unto them. Not unto someone else. He says, unto us. A son is given. Given, And then he says, not only has he been given to you, he said, but unto us a son is. Now, now, the significance of unto us a son is born is because God said, I'm coming unto us. I'm going to put on some flesh and I'm going to be born. I'm going, get this y'all, I'm going to be not only familiar with them, I'm not only going to be God to them, I'm going to be God in them. Not yet. That's with the New them. Testament. That's with after them. Acts. I'm going to be God with them. Born, I'm going to get with them. Now, why is that significant, Tony? Because when we think about God, Elder D, we think about God high and lifted up. And he is. But in his high and lifted upness, if you please, he said, I'm going to be born unto them. I'm going to come where they reside. I'm going to come right in the middle of their mess. He that knew 
no sin, the Bible says. He became sin. I'm going to sit right where they sit. I'm going to see what they see unto us. A son is born. So given is an indication of what God says I'm going to give him. Hmm. I'm going to give them something they never had anything like it. I'm going to give them something that they've never seen any liking of it. Emmanuel. With us, God. But when you look at God wrapped up in flesh, when the Bible says he was his only begotten son, that word only actually means in the Greek, the only of its kind. So, oh God, I thank you. So I'm going to give them a present that they can't pick up at Walmart. I'm going to give them a present that they can't pick up at Nordstrom's. I'm going to give them a present that they won't find on the shelf at Saks Fifth Avenue. It is unique, the Bible says. It's one of its kind, the only of its kind. Now, now, when you find something that's the only of its kind, what does that mean? No one like it. Say, unique, rare, rare. Mm, I like that. Rare, exquisite. I, like, I love that word. Exquisite, priceless. Guess what? You can't find it anywhere else. It's just like back in my day when I had a little money, I could get suits custom made. I handpicked the material. I handpicked the design. I handpicked how the suit would look. Now, what made it unique? was not because there was no more fabric after the suit was made because I pulled it from a bolt of fabric. So there was more fabric. It wasn't because the design had never been created because I used a book to pull the design from. But what made the suit unique and the only of its kind? Because it was made for my body. It was made for my physique. It was tailored to me. Glory to God. And then to put the signature on the design, the designer said, let me inscribe your name in the code. Let me write your name to identify that there's only one of its kind. Well, when Jesus Born of a virgin Mary, wrapped himself, God wrapping himself in the flesh of Mary. Now, understand something. His birth was unique because his birth wasn't a product of a man and a woman coming together. For the Bible says that she was a virgin. Had known a man. But the Holy Spirit hit her womb. And when the Holy Spirit hit her womb, here comes uniqueness. One of its kind. So, as Isaiah says, that he's a gift unto us. That he's born unto us. But then he's, he begins to describe this one of its kind thing. He begins to try to give us an idea of how unique and awesome this God, this son is. And he says in verse 6, <laughs> and the government shall be upon his shoulders. 
So not only is he one of his kind, but he got some authority. When the Bible says that the government shall be upon his shoulders, in other words, he will be king. Now, he won't be a normal king. Because kingdoms and kings fall and rise. One king is killed, a new king is arisen. That king dies, another king arises. But he's not the normal king. Huh? There is no end to his reign. There is no end to his kingdom. He reigns and super reigns. Above him, there is none other. Uh, glory to God. There is no kingdom greater than his kingdom. There is no power greater than his power. So the Bible says that he will place on his shoulder the key to the house of David. And what he opens. Uh, glory to God. What he opens. Glory to God. No one can shut it. I liken that to you don't need to return it. See, we'll get some gifts. Oh, God, I hear you. This Christmas season, like I got a gift the other day. The jacket was a little too small. So I had to take it back to the store and uh, get a, I couldn't get a refund, so I had to replace it with the right size. But when the Bible says that he, there is no shutting, you can't shut anything that he opens, it's saying that his gift is so on point that you won't even need to return it. He doesn't even need to give you a, a gift receipt huh? because it's perfect. Huh? It's perfectly suited for you. Huh? It's your size. Huh? It's your color. Huh? It's your dimension huh? because it's perfect. You allow me to give application to this text. So his kingdom, his kingdom, when you talk about the kingdom, shall rest on his shoulders. You're dealing with magistrate. You're dealing with order. Any of you that have been in the military, there's some things that they put on your shoulder blades. The stuff that they put on your shoulder blades uh, is to be an indication of your rank. What they put on your shoulder, now, it's an indication uh, of your ranking or your authority. Uh, a sergeant is not higher than what, Marcus? A lieutenant. Uh, a lieutenant is not higher than uh, a general. A general is not lower than a captain. What are you talking about, Tony? He said, I'm going to have it on my shoulder. I'm magistrate. I'm all power. There's no greater power than me. There's no greater authority than me. You can't get no higher than the Son of God. There is no greater power than the Son of God. I got power. It's registered. It's delegated. What is it delegated by? Who I am. I'm the Son of God. I was with God in the beginning. In the beginning was God. I was there.
wonder it is. Yes. 